Hi guys, Paul here. So this uh, bathtub spout here was dripping really bad. So the washers and springs needed to be replaced and I'm gonna show you how to do that. Now, uh, before you do this, um, the first thing you're gonna need to, do, need to do is turn the water off, okay? After you turn the water off, then go ahead and close off your drain however you gotta do it and then put a towel over just for extra insurance, just so you don't end up dropping anything down into the drain. Okay, now the actual culprit is not this. That's not where the washers and springs are. The washers and springs are in this valve here. Okay, and the easiest way to start off with this is, this little center cap has to come out. Take a real sharp pointed knife, put it across the face, and just drag it across. When it drops, then just push in and pull it out, okay? Okay, next we gotta take this screw out. All the screws, all the threads on this are right-hand threaded, so righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. Then just pull your handle off. Then we're gonna take our rotational limit stop off. That's, of course, to set the water so nobody gets burned. And then the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna grab hold of this tr piece of this trim sleeve here and grab hold of it and like twist it and pull okay and that'll come out then um, you got your your wall your trim plate and I've already taken the screws out here just to save time on the video so you take those screws out then that comes off and then you're gonna see <coughs> a uh, a big o-ring right here just take that o-ring and slide that off okay now the culprit well not the culprit um, one of the things you're gonna have to deal with which I think is probably the most difficult of this whole thing is this this is called a bonnet and this bonnet is what holds this shower cartridge in place and that that's where your washers and springs are is inside this cartridge so what you want to do is, let me make sure I got this focused here. What you want to do is, you want to uh, grab hold of the main body valve in the back with your one hand, and then take your other hand, grab hold of the bonnet, and again, it's right hand thread, righty tighty, lefty loosey. So turn to the left and try and take it off. Now, if it won't come off, then probably a good idea to do is to get some um, some kind of rust breaker spray and spray some right on the front, on the inside of that bonnet, and also spray it in around the back of the bonnet. Let it set a couple hours, and then, um, you know, again, grab the body valve, uh, uh, you know clean off this bonnet here and uh, grab hold of it and try and break it loose again with your hand if you still can't get it then what you're gonna need to do is um, take a little hammer and just tap around this do that for a couple minutes tap around it that'll hopefully loosen any calcium and then try it again. And if that won't work, then what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to get a strap wrench. Um, whatever you do, do not take a pipe wrench to this bonnet. If you're even thinking about it, I'm telling you, do not do it. Because what will happen is if you put this pipe wrench on this bonnet, not only are you gonna mar up the whole outside of this thing, but there's a good chance, depending on how much pressure you need to put on this thing, you may end up, uh, well, you're probably going to bend this bonnet and you may end up actually, you could actually bend the main body and uh, you still may not get it off, okay? And this is not the proper tool to take this bonnet off. The proper tool to take this bonnet off is this wrench strap, okay? And this is what you're going to need. And... Um, it works real easy, and you definitely want to get a rubber one, okay? Do not get a cloth strap. They're crap. I've tried them. They slip, and you want the rubber, okay? 
So you just bring that up to the bonnet, all right, and cinch that around there, and then you'll then try and remove it with that. Now, for some reason, oh, and when you do that, again, try and hold on to the back of the main body, and if for some reason it still just won't come and you're actually, you sense that the, the actual body valve itself is starting to bend, then stop because you're going to, you could shear off the, you could shear off the entire valve or you could mess up your pipes in the, inside here, which you don't want to do. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get another strap wrench and take the strap wrench and put that on the back of the main body and cinch it down and then put, get another strap wrench and put it on the main bonnet, okay? And with that, you should be able to get it off, okay? So once you get the main <coughs> bonnet off, then again, here, this is your cartridge here. And really, um, an easy way to just get it off is just put your handle back on and put your screw back in. This is what I found works easiest. And then hold the main body in the back here and then just pull out and wiggle, okay? And there it is. And of course, water's gonna come out. And uh, so here we are. And this is our cartridge assembly. And all we have to do to get to the springs, the springs and washers in here is to take and turn this a quarter turn. Oh, hang on to hang on to this plastic part here, okay? And just turn it, and it'll it'll stop about a, at a quarter of a turn. It'll stop, and then it'll just come right out, okay? And then and then here are your washers and springs, and. Uh, just take those out and there it is. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna throw these out, your washers and springs, and when you put the new ones in, just make sure, because this spring has a small end and a big end, make sure you put the small end into the washer itself. Okay? And the big end will go away from you. And then just put it in, like so, and then, again, then just take Hold on to that white plastic part and slip it in and let's see how we go here. And turn wait a minute. No, we're not getting it there. Okay, so you can see there's a there's an actual notch here. So you gotta line that notch up with the notches on each side here. Just put that in like so, kind of push it in and then twist. There we go, and it'll stop at a quarter turn. Okay, now um, there's a chance that these little washers here might need to be replaced. Uh, mine didn't, but what you wanna do next is, um, after you replace the washers and springs is, take some Teflon lubricant, okay, and put Teflon lubricant around this main o-ring here and around these little o-rings here okay then set that aside then what you want to do is there's um two big openings inside here that's where your hot and cold water come out of what you want to do is um dry that out um with a q-tip or paper towel and then take a q-tip and dip it in some vinegar and then clean the inside of that out real good, okay, to get rid of any scale or uh, calcium buildup. And then after you complete that, then you will be ready to insert this back in. And you can see there's there's a notch on this side, a notch on that side. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, there's a notch on the cartridge also on each side. So that's what you're lining up. And then you're just going to take it and you're going to... Just, you know, hold on to the body again and just wiggle it and just push it in. You'll feel it seat in. Now, once it seats in, then again, you'll just need to take this 
screw back out. Take the handle off. And then it's also a good idea to put some Teflon lubricant on these threads, okay? And put the bonnet back on. If you do that, then, you know, if you did that like every couple years to this, then you'd never have any issues with this. You, you wouldn't even need a strap wrench. You'd probably be able to get it off by hand. Okay, so that's what it entails. And uh, um, you just got to put every all the other basic things back on and you're good to go. Easy peasy. And uh, I sure hope this helps somebody out there. And if you like this video, would you please hit the like button below, share it with your friends, and please be sure to subscribe. God bless you and have a great day. Bye for now.